Sometimes I do get emotional because uh, I literally spend one and to one and a half hour in the video call only seeing my kid. Even he doesn't want, like to watch more in the uh, mobile. But there are times I'll come overcome it, saying that why have been here? I had the stake of my son staying at uh, home uh, without me. That emotional has been driving me through this journey. My name is Sridivya and I am from Vishakapatnam. After doing my post-graduation in electrical engineering, I have done my B.Tech from Jain to Kakinada. Post that, I have done post-graduation in power systems engineering from NIT Varangal. Post then, I was interested in pursuing civil services. I have gone for uh, preparing civils in Delhi for a period of three years. Post that, I have applied for a State Bank of India PO exam and I have joined as a probationary officer where I have worked for uh, almost seven and a half years. Then I have developed interest and I want to develop my practical skills and management skills and post which I had to come here and uh, I I'm interested to develop my these, these skills. I'm married for almost 10 years and I have a kid. Uh, my son is uh, two and a half years old and it has been a really a great journey coming here because I have never expected that I would land up in IIM Lucknow. It's not that I have a course corrected because uh, after uh, uh, giving my items, two items in civil services, I have appeared for the mains. Then I had to get married because of uh, my age and home uh, constraints, I had to get married. Then I have decided to pursue my professional career and give my attempts in that. Because of which I have never uh, stopped my giving my attempts also. In, in SBA also I was giving attempts for civil services and group examinations. And post which I have decided, okay, it's not time for me. Now we have to see my growth in pro professional career and I have uh, applied for CAT. Actually, I made my work uh, very quite interesting because after my confirmation, I was directly promoted as branch manager and from five, five and a half years, I was posted at different branches as branch manager, where you'll have the key responsibility of taking up your branch, how you decide your branch, how you make up uh, your budget, how you work with your seniors or juniors, that all makes a difference. I mean, I have worked with a vast uh, diversity because in my branch, I was the youngest person working with many elder people and I have to manage them get the work done by them at the same time I have to be cordial with them so I used to plan my work at the same time I used to plan how to uh, means motivate my people because I used to think that my branch is just belongs to me and I need to develop the branch at the same time my colleagues and my uh, juniors so that has literally helped me I was enjoying that phase and I wanted to move up in the ladder Recently, the banking sector has gone a very drastic transformation. It's not that if being in a PSU bank and you are a branch manager means uh, you'll be at uh, like a safer hand and you can do your work comfortably. There is no pressure because wherever I was posted, there are literally two or three, four uh, private banks beside me and I need to compete with them. And my nature is such that wherever I go, I want to be at first whatever it may be, whether it may be in education, whether it may be in professional career. That zeal has uh, never stopped me in my career. Before coming here also, I used to, because I used to manage my kid, I used to uh, do course like uh, as a housewife also I had to do something before coming to the branch I need to manage my branch and being a branch manager you are given the responsibility of not only a single task where you need to do all the tasks in the branch apart from that I need to see my personal growth then I've decided even after doing MBA MBA only teaches you how to manage your time and after coming here also I, when I'm able to uh, cope up with this uh, schedule I'm pretty sure that I can manage myself because it's not that being an investment banker, you can't manage your work-life balance. Till when we can take up our uh, uh, responsibilities in a uh, most in a challenging way, when you're able to do something and you're sat getting satisfied with that, that will definitely automatically improve your jail to do some more. Before coming here, I'm almost earning uh, around 1, 1 to 1.5 lakhs of salary. In a PSU bank, what they give you is they give you the amenities, like they'll give you a house to stay wherever you want, depending on that. If you stay in a metro, they'll give you an accommodation in a metro city. If you're sitting as uh, staying in a rural area, the uh, component will be relatively low. And they take care of you and your family till the end. They'll take care of your uh, financials. They take care of your uh, whether you want to go for a housing loan. The rate of interest is comparatively low. If you feel sick or if you have to encounter any health emergencies also, that is completely free. All these things are taken up by the uh, public sector. 
you need to wait for two to three years, minimum tenure to get promoted. Or to, if you want to explore a new thing, you have a good idea, you want to go up as a venture, you want to try something new. There are some restrictions and you need to follow the rules and regulations of the private uh, public sector entity. And that we can't do it because that only makes, defines a public organization. Whereas after an IML degree, it's not only the money that matters, but whatever you want, you can go up the ladder very quickly. And that is what uh, drew me here because when you have you have the ability to work and you can move up the ladder in two years, why to wait for uh, six or seven years to move up the ladder in the same way? The professional growth and whatever ideas you have, it's not that you can after IML degree you need to land up in any private organization. You can have a startup of your own with these years of experience, and these all ideas have brought me here. The moment I got selected in IML, the, the same question has started in my mind whether I should take my kid with me, whether there will be facilities provided in IML. However, I have come to know that uh, even married couple, they can uh, apply for some uh, accommodation in IML also, but haven't made it because I want my son to be comfortable. My parents and my uh, in-laws have told me that you can't take care of the kid and you uh, after a period of 10 years, you're against resuming your educational journey. You can't make it up with both of the things and there will be some environmental climate difference also because he got used to in uh, Vishakapatnam right after his birth. For a period of two years, we'll be taking care of your kid. After that, you can, uh, the moment he joins in the school, that time you'll be completing your journey and you'll be coming. You don't take up uh, both the things there and you, because my husband is also working from home, he said, I'll be along with the kid, so there is nothing to worry. Before that, I used to think whether if I leave my kid, is that I'm leaving any responsibilities as a mother? Am I uh, not doing the right part on this? But if I can't do it now, I can't do it. I'll never be able to do it. Sometimes I do get emotional because uh, I literally spend one and to one and a half hour in a video call only seeing my kid. Even he doesn't want, like to watch more in the uh, mobile. But my mother or my husband will be keeping the video call so that I can watch how he's playing, how he's talking and all. I'll be getting his videos. But there are times I'll come overcome it saying that why have been here I, at the stake of my son staying at home uh, without me. So that in fact, that emotional has been driving me through this journey. Everyone was looking at me with respect that she has done. She is a manager after doing of CS, uh, so many years of experience, she has come to the classroom. And I'm very comfortable in my classroom that I will be able to ask any doubt. I'll, I was able to move with all my friends and the, the uh, inhibition that came because you will be isolated from. But right now I'm the most well known and I, I'm very well acquainted with all my friends. I was not able to think that I'll be coming here and I'll be able to enjoy with them, mingling with them. At the age of 34, I'm able to come here. I'm able to compete with 20-year-old uh, uh, classmates and I'm able to do in ECADS, I'm able to do in other competitions also. When then, when I can do, everyone can do. It's not the age factor, it's only your mental uh, ability and what you think, you can do it. Actually, my plan is, uh, there are many uh, women in our country who will be thinking, we have passed this age, we got married, we can't do it. My husband is settled somewhere, I need to go there. I just want to bring all this together and to, I mean, finance, whatever finance, because Coming here, it was easy for me to get a loan because I'm in the finance sector. I was thinking, okay, I can get a loan and I can pursue my education. But many women will be thinking, is it worth to invest this much amount? I can buy a something, an apartment or something for my kid or something. So I just want, my entrepreneurial brand of mind is, I just want to go for women empowerment in the first sector. Because right from my uh, civil service preparation itself, my aim is that I want to do something for my society for, which has given me a lot. I've done my B.Tech, I've done my M.Tech, I've worked for everything. All this, the society is giving me something and I need to return, I need to do something for the society. And with this mind of mind only, I've come here. After two years, I probably think I'll be able to do something for them. Mainly, my motive is this. I just want to be a role model for my kid. After he grows up, he should feel I should be like my mom. He shouldn't think that my mom has left me for two years, uh, leaving me in this uh, uh, young age. He should feel proud that my mom has done something and at this stage she has done something for the society also.